<laughs> the worst thing's gonna happen is gonna go topple over that way. You guys done? It's not. <laughs> Since we are still waiting on the materials to arrive that are going to allow us to extend the A-frame roof over top of part of the deck and also get the railing installed, we're gonna go ahead and jump around to what is actually the front of the house and build the deck onto the entryway. So we have some 16-foot posts, all of which need to be shoshugi bond. So we're throwing it back old school today. We are. <laughs> Two of the four of these posts have dried out pretty dry, and uh, they're pretty bowed too. So these two guys right here, especially this one, it's kicked out and bowed out like that at this end. So I'm thinking we're gonna take both of these posts, put those on the two front posts, or front footers, and it's gonna come up, it's gonna bow away from the house, is what I'm hoping. We're gonna go ahead and attach everything, and then once it's time to do a top beam that goes across from uh, post to post, we're gonna push these two guys, bow them back plumb, and then lag them down to the top of the beam. Hopefully it works. We'll <laughs> see, but it's a pretty gnarly bow. Do you think we're gonna be able to straighten them out by doing that? That's what you're planning? That's what I'm thinking, yes. Okay. But I gotta, I got yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, we'll, we'll probably make it. We'll see though. <laughs> So now that all of the posts are torched, the next step is going to be to rinse them down with some water and then we're just gonna let them dry while we move yes. on. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna seal all these once we get everything up and get the entire deck built. We'll seal everything out during one time because Aaron throws all the brushes away after one use, so. I use cheap brushes. That's debatable. <laughs> so, um, it's gonna go up, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb, so it's gonna be very dark compared to the rest of the house. But as we went along doing step by step, it's always, dark when it goes up first and then it lightens up and it all evens out and matches. So give yeah. it a few months, it's gonna get to the same color as the house and it's gonna look great. If you guys remember, the last dormer that we put in was yes. actually this front door dormer that we're working on today. Yep. And when it went up, it was very dark and it didn't it match. Black. Yeah. It was, exactly like these are. But now, after having been out in the sun and exposed to the weather, it matches the other dormers and the mm -hmm. powerhouse. So this Everything will be matches. the same, just, just heads up, it's gonna go up. Yes, we realize it's very dark. It'll all work out. Yes. Oh, and something that we've been asked about a lot. Um, right now, it's a very dirty process, and you'll get you know the black like soot and stuff all over your hands. But once it's up after it's been rinsed off and everything, like you're, the kids aren't going around touching it and everybody no. ending up with the black on their hands. So it does not continue to transfer. It's just the initial yes. process. Yes. And uh, um, I love it. I think it looks great. But I'd never do it again if I had to build another house. It's so much extra work. Yes. It's we got hours asked that a lot hours too. Hours and hours and hours of torching. If you're doing this where it's a small project, it's just like four posts, it's no big deal. Yeah, it takes an hour and a half. But when you're doing deal. all the siding on your house, it's a ton of work. However, yeah. with that said, we do love it and we're glad that we did it on our house. But if we were building houses for a living, we would not be doing this for every single house because it's so much work. No. But don't let that discourage you from doing it on your house because it does look really cool. It highlights all the grains. It really does. It's beautiful. So we went ahead and off camera, we got everything laid out. So we're pretty much ready to rock and roll and start getting some brackets installed. Yeah, so we'll spray, anchors, mm -hmm. put up. You gonna put 
this in my hand, huh, girl? Yeah, you drill? I drill. You crank. <laughs> Before you do anything, you get the big level, the six footer, and the four foot level. Um, screw gun, I got that, you get the screws, and also the big uh, 10 pound hammer. Because once we get that big boy up, we're not gonna we don't wanna build a pickup and move over. I'm gonna have to hit the bottom with it to get it on there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. It's not gonna kick back. Okay. The worst thing's gonna happen is gonna go topple over that way. Okay. And that's what that's there for. Right. And if it gets past that, then brace it and fix it, you know? <laughs> that's all I can say. So, all right. not a big deal. <laughs> at all. And more, um, we need, we need to do, because I, I'm having an issue with the, uh, it's so top heavy, I'm trying to hold it when you're screwing it in, it's getting thrown out of whack. Okay. Um, what we probably need to do is go ahead and, uh, leave those on there right now to help hold it in place, but go ahead and take the long screw and take a two by four. Okay. Let's put it up right here, okay? Yeah. We'll screw that guy in there and we'll, we'll get, hit, and then we'll get a two by four coming this way, coming down. And that's how we're, we're gonna pull the plumb and then yeah. we'll screw those in. Okay. Does that Got make it? sense? Yeah. We can put those into the, the ground with a kicker or something like that as you buy. So now that that's in place, let's go ahead and take those two screws that we did put in out. Let's uh, get this guy plumb with both those levels. And uh, we can adjust each kicker to bring it back or this way. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's level. So it's plumb, yep. And then screw it in. And then we'll screw it back in. Looks good. It does. It's it exciting. Goes up with the, with the line of the siding, so it's straight. But I would, I would hope so. It, no, no, it's plums. It goes right there, but the the wood you can see it, the wood does a slight bone. It's 16 feet long. So when we get everything up and get the rafters on, we got to start pulling things together. Right. I'm you know just I mean? excited that we're going to have a front entryway. You know what it's I mean? Gonna it's going to change the dynamic and the look of this entire house. It's going to change our lives. It's going to change my life. We're yes. going to enter through a front door now. Not my bedroom. <laughs> yes. Is it going to hold? That was extra, extra heavy. He's completely out of kick. Uh, I need you to pick. Let's pick him up and bump him that way because he's, uh, he's way out of whack. He's, he needs to go back to you a lot. Ready? Yeah. 
That's good. That's dead nuts. Okay, cool. He's dead nuts. If I were you, I'd go ahead and slam one on this corner right there. Oh, he ain't going nowhere now. So he's locked in. Okay. Um, so he's level that way. He's good. They're good. It's just that, uh, Yeah. Ugly post. Yeah, he's looking ugly post. Get, get, in front of it. get in front of it, get in front of it. Get in front of it and hold it down? Yeah. Jeez. We got the third one up and that was the hardest, also the heaviest one we had. Um, the other two we pushed downhill, this one we pushed uphill. So leverage was not on our side. But this next one's gonna be light. Not as heavy as that one, so it should be a lot easier. What, do you, what, what say you? But how do you know it's gonna be light? Because I remember when I carried them over. That was the heaviest one. There's one that was, there was right. one there that was the heaviest. Yeah. And that was it. Okay. I hope. Well, that's good thing. <laughs> you want me to get on the back side? Yeah, keep going. Here, here. Oh, you just give me back side, girl. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Cool. I need you to get the uh, two bars. Dead nuts right there. That's good. You guys, set the laser up real quick. I wasn't ready. Don't look at me like that. I didn't have the camera pointed on you. You ready? You're such a diva. <laughs> I need espresso, like right now. <laughs> and where's the hairdresser to fix that toupee? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my hair's getting long, the haircut was not a toupee. I got, got a few comments. The last video about my hair being a toupee. Never, it's the first time ever, you know? You just got a nice lush head of hair, Josh, you know? It's okay. Stop making that noise. Ready? <laughs> no shirt on. I'm aware. All right, so, I'm gonna set the, set the laser up real quick, and uh, we're gonna get this elevation right here. Once we get this elevation with the laser, it's gonna mark everything. <laughs> it's gonna mark everything. No more. Am I going or no? So mark all the posts real quick, and then we get all the posts. We're gonna start bringing our whatever thing, that thing is. <laughs> whatever, bring them across for the drawers to sit on top of. Once that's done, oh, hold on. <laughs> I feel like the wheels are falling off the bus here. I'm just, I'm tired. You know, I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> I want ice cream. You know. Okay. We actually we need to be nine and a quarter inches down from this. I messed up. Nine and a quarter inches down from here, which is not a big deal. That's what the height of the legs needs to be at, and then that's what we make it all work on. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be working on now. Yeah, nine, <laughs> nine, nine and a quarter inches below the, to down to here somewhere. So we'll figure it out. You'll see it happen. I got it in the bag. I'm making <laughs> Ellie, put her shirt on. We're pure and utter chaos at all times. You gotta love it, you know, Josh? 
Yes. Remember, the days are long, but the years are short. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my thing is this. Try not to sh shove it and click. Oh, I can right. bump the thing out of whack. Just hold it up as flat as you can, okay? Yep. Be oh, strong. Wait, what do you want ma me to not do again? Just take a dead go, then go and pick it up and go. Oh, and I throw it there, hit the thing. I don't need that. If you do when that, do I you ever do that? It's going like this. this now I'm a kid going backwards, I'm a kid going forward, right. so it's going like this. The only time I ever do that is when I'm trying to get you into the truck. So It's hot! It's hot! I was messing with you, it is really hot though. I know it is. I learned that lesson one of the first days on the job, Josh. Wow! That's like all clearance. <laughs> Everything's really coming together, Josh. <laughs> we should probably eventually dig this down a little bit and drop down lower. But that, for now, it's good enough. That can be your job. I'm off that day. Josh is finishing getting all of the boards bolted to the post and then we're going to start getting all of the hangers up and the floor joists down. It's funny to see just how much quicker things move when you're doing a small deck or porch like this as compared to that deck that we did over there which was I mean it just felt like it took us forever but it was such a big deck and such a big undertaking. It was exhausting so it's kind of a nice treat to be doing a small deck this time instead. All these two uh, floor joists. Um, that post and that post are pretty bows. So I really don't feel comfortable pulling off of that to make sure everything is square. So we're putting these guys up and we'll measure diagonal to diagonal and edge to edge on both sides to get them squared up. So once they're squared up, that's when we'll go ahead and put those in place and we'll start going down everything 16 inches on center. One twenty-three and a quarter from edge to edge, edge to edge. One sixty-four and a half, corner to corner, corner to corner. That is a square. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Did somebody chase you down? I mean, yeah, he wants to ride with me. That's where I go now. He loves you. <laughs> you know, where he goes? Have we said? Yes. Hilarious, dude. So we should, cute. We should get a little basket, put a basket on the front. He needs a helmet and goggles. Yeah. 
Cranky. No four wheeler riding, dude. Here we are at the beginning of the end, finishing the exterior of our home that has only ever been an image in our heads and never made it to proper blueprint drawings. It's an unconventional house built in an unconventional way by an unconventional couple. But we are the only ones who will know that because in just a few short weeks, the house will be finished and everyone who visits will come through the entryway of this home the same way as the entryway of any other home. If only the walls of a home could talk, imagine the stories they'd tell. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. We hit it? <laughs> now I know it.